see how's everybody doing today. Figure I'd give you an update on my solar panels. I got it all hooked up and working. Finished it up today. I've got 700 watts on each string. I just wanted to show them. I'm just put my wires one through the Instead of going through that, I couldn't fit no more, so I just went right down the edge of them. Buried them. So I've got them all buried. And then like I told you, you can see it there. I brung me out a electric line, put an end on it, a male end. That way I can hook my gas generator up to that uh, wire right there. And then in my bedroom, I can just hook up my solar generators. But yeah, I'm done. Totally hooked up. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Turned out pretty good. I'll take you inside and let you see where I'm talking about hooking up the generator. Hang on. Uh, looks like it's going to rain here today. Running my fridges and freezers as usual. It's a little bit of mess in here. I ain't putting nothing back because I wanted to show you. But, uh, I've got my anchor and my three blue eddies. Maca tails, and I've got this blue eddy running everything plus charging. It's taking solar. What little bit I'm getting now, I'm down to 11 watts. And I've got my anchor right there, it's on charge on solar. So that's two of them. As you can see, I've still got two rows of panels right there, so I can charge four generators at one time. So, you know, and yeah, my oops is already boxed up, ready to ship, uh, post to, uh, they either said, I'd have to read the email again, I'm either gonna receive a new oops and it's an updated version on the 16th of this month, and uh, either receive it on the 16th or they're shipping it on the 16th, but I believe I'm receiving it on the 16th. But uh, hopefully that'll be good to go when I get it. But yeah, they said it'd be an updated version. But yeah, I've got my two solar inputs right here for my Blue Eddies. Again, I'm charging this one Blue Eddy, and I'm charging my anchor. Now right there is my generator cord, and it's a female. And let's just say in the winter, which had happened three years ago. We were out of uh, uh, electric for, I think it was like four days, four and a half days. But uh, let's say you can't get no solar in. Well, outside, I'll hook my gasoline generator up to that yellow cord on that end, on the outside. And then here, I'll probably put a power strip on it. And then that way I can charge two, three of them at the same time or just one, whatever. But uh, I just thought, you know, that way I ain't got to have an extension cord running through my window or through my door letting cold air in or bugs or whatever, you know. But I uh, just wanted to show you and excuse the mess. I just had to pull my dresser out to show you what I was doing. But I just literally had everything come through uh, one co uh, hole right there. Let me, excuse me, I'll turn on the light. <laughs> that way y'all can see sorry about that but all my solar wires and that extension cord wire comes up in one hole and i've already cocked it so we're good to go but after i right there's my third or a, a power strip that's to all my one one of them gray lines run to uh my dining room for that fridge and freezer one goes to the kitchen for that fridge one goes to my utility room for that freezer and then another one goes to my TV and cameras. And I plug all them up to that power, or that surge protector. 
And then the surge protector, I have it plugged up to this brown extension cord right there. And then I just bring it up here and plug it up right there into my Blue Eddy. My Blue Eddy runs everything in my house there, pretty much. But uh, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. And yes, it's safe. You know, people say, oh, you're going to lose voltage. The yellow electrical cord is 34 feet. That is it from tip to tip. You know, basically, you know, an extension cord. That's what it is. You ain't going to lose that much voltage. So, but uh, this way, you know, I can charge them up if I need to. Keep everything running. But, you know, when I put my dresser right there, twist it back around, you'll never see none of these cables. And I know it looks like a mess right now, but I've got little hooks up under here. That way I just roll my cord up, put it on the hook. There ain't no mess or nothing. It's just this way right now where I've been working on it. You know, it gives you an idea. You know, if you've got a cross face or if you want to drill a hole through your wall right there and cock it, you know, you can do the same thing. But just wanted to show you I'm done. I can charge four generators now. Plus, if I need my ga gasoline generator, I can charge these right here in the bedroom. Ain't got to move nothing except a cord. Just pull it out. You know, pull my generator, gasoline generator out of my building, put it right there by my porch, my deck, plug it up. Good to go. But, uh, you know, just wanted to let y'all know, told you I'd give you an update. And again, when my new oops arrives, I will keep you in the loop, let you know how it runs and everything. Uh, I'll let you know when it gets here and then I'll wait two to three weeks and then I'll really run it and give you an update on what I think of it, which... I'm telling you, I love it. Just, I can't wait to get it because it's just a lot of power. I can just run all of my fridge and freezers all night long until morning time. Never have to worry about it. With this one, it just wouldn't give me uh, but the half of the battery life. So it was just a glitch in that one. Not knocking them. I do like them. But yeah, just want to give you an update. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. And, uh... Hey, thanks for checking in, and I'll make another video pretty soon. Y'all have a good one, and God bless.